What is up guys? It's been a while, but I'm back with another Amazon video. And since it seems like y'all really enjoyed my top 10 tips before working at Amazon video, I decided to make a similar video. This time I'll give you guys my top do's and don'ts before working at an Amazon warehouse. So I hope those of y'all who are starting at Amazon soon will find this useful. And if you guys have already started working at Amazon, feel free to add anything else in the comment section below. But with that being said, let's get right into my top five do's and top five don'ts before working at an Amazon warehouse. Hey guys, it's Don from the future. I'm just editing that video y'all are about to watch, but I just wanted to quickly show y'all something first. And so if y'all can see this right here, this is just our overall channel analytics and it's showing me that 96.9% .9 of y'all are not subscribed and we need to change that. But if you are part of the 2.7% that are, thank you, it means a lot. And if you're not, come on, what are we doing? Hit that subscribe button now. But yeah, that's all I had to say. So let's get back into the video. So the first one I got is do try to get overtime hours. So you may not like working more than you have to, but believe me, it's going to be worth it. The 1.5 times pay is really nice and you can get so many extra hours and it all adds up really fast. So definitely try to pick up those extra shifts on the Amazon A to Z app. All right, for our first don't, and this one's pretty important, it's don't take drugs for a few days before your new hire orientation. So yes, Amazon does do drug tests, and it is true that recently, due to the pandemic, they have stopped. I personally didn't take one in May, but a lot of y'all in the comments section have been saying that they have restarted taking drug tests. So you definitely wanna watch out for this. So just play it safe and lay off for a few days, and then you should be good. All right, so next we have do get comfortable shoes. And if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that I've said this a lot. And that's because it's still probably the most important thing you can bring and use to help you do the job. So getting a great pair of shoes is a major key, especially if you plan on working the 10 to 12 hour shifts. And yeah, your feet will thank you later. All right, next, don't clock in late for your shift or for meal breaks, and don't miss your entire shift without telling your manager or at least human resources, since you could get fired immediately if you do. If you show up late for any reason, Amazon will give you these points for being late, and if you get six points, you're out, so definitely try to be on time. Next, do bring your own food and drinks, especially if you signed up for full-time hours. Your shifts are gonna be long, hard sometimes, and physically demanding. So you need as much fuel as possible or else you're not gonna have a great time. So a good idea you can use if you think you're gonna struggle with motivation throughout your shift is to pack something exciting to eat that you'll be looking forward to eating during your break. I personally do this sometimes and it works great. But yeah, make sure to bring good food and hydration. You'll need it. All right, for our third don't, we have don't slack off too much when you're on the clock working. TOT or time off task is a very important measure that Amazon uses to ensure that all of their employees are being productive for the entirety of their shifts. And what this means is that if you're a stower or a picker or any other role that requires you to hit a specific rate and you take more than 10 minutes in between item scans for any reason, maybe to use the restroom, to talk to someone, or just to take a small break, then you start accumulating TOT minutes. And if you receive two hours or 120 minutes of TOT in a day, then you will automatically be fired. So definitely watch out for this. All right, for our next do, we have do try to change up your role after three to four weeks. If you're getting bored of the same task you've been doing, which will probably happen, you can actually ask your manager to let you work a different role. And this can bring a bit more excitement into the job and may help reduce the boringness, at least for a short period of time. Okay, so moving on, don't get three write-ups in 90 days. If you do, you could and probably will be facing termination. So do your best to obey all of Amazon's policies, even if you don't really agree with them. Because if you do get a write-up, you have to wait a full 90 days from the day you got the write-up for it to be cleared from your name. Okay, for the last do that I got, do your job, but don't do it the best. And what I mean by this is at the end of the day, everyone's gonna get paid the same no matter how hard you work. And unless this changes, why work the hardest in the building and expend a lot of energy when in the end, you and the laziest person in the building are held exactly the same. 
And if anything, being the best at your position will only make your manager want to keep you at the same position for longer, and you probably wouldn't even be able to change your role even if you wanted to. So yeah, for now, do your job, but don't do it the best. All right, so last but not least, don't give up. At least not right away. After your first week, you'll probably realize that the job isn't that fun, it might not be what you expected, and you might want to just pull the plug and quit. And this is very understandable. In fact, I think the majority of new Amazon employees do exactly this. But to me, I think that if you've already signed up for the job, completed all the written tests, drug tests, and background checks, you should at least make a small commitment to the new job. In my opinion, try to work the job for at least four weeks and then make a decision of what you want to do. And if after a month you want to leave, at least you would have made a few grand and helped tens of thousands of people out. But yeah, don't give up right away. All right guys, so I wanted to give you all a couple honorable mentions that I didn't think was that important, but definitely should still be brought up. And that is do try to meet new people because it's gonna make working at the Amazon warehouse 100 times better. Because like I said in a previous video, you can't use your phones, which means you can't use earbuds to listen to music. So the next best way to pass time in my opinion and to make things go by faster would be talking to different people. So like different coworkers or people in your section because spending an entire shift just by yourself looking at a shelf is gonna be really boring. So I think if you're able to do this, it would help out a lot. And for the extra don't, I would say don't expect to work there for very long or don't try to at least. And that's just my opinion. I know some people there in my warehouse who've been working for quite a few years just because they really enjoy it. But I'd say for about 90% of the workers, it should be a job that lasts for no more than I'd say a few months. And that's just because with all the standing that you're gonna be doing, it's definitely gonna take a pretty big toll on your body. And I really think it's not worth it in the long run. So yeah, don't plan to stay there for very long, but also don't quit before you have a new job. So my advice would be if you're thinking about quitting or you're wanting to, at least start applying or have a job lined up so you can quit if you choose to, but you would have another job that you would be able to start and not have to worry about. And this will take a lot of stress off of you. So yeah, don't try to work there for an extended period of time because I don't think it's good for your body's health. All right guys, so that was my top five do's and don'ts before working at an Amazon warehouse. Make sure to hit that like button if this was useful. And I hope the upcoming Amazon employees will be able to make use of these tips before their first day. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I make sure to answer every question we get. And if you're starting at Amazon soon, click over here to see my top 10 tips for new Amazon employees or for more of our Amazon videos. And if you're new, click over here to subscribe to our channel. I'm really thankful for all the support we've been getting and I'm happy to be able to help so many of y'all out. So thank you guys and I'll see you all soon.